What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we kicked off our humongous Dynasty series. It's the Coach Sexton Dynasty. I'm going to go through a bunch of teams over time, win a bunch of championships, all that good stuff, have some good storylines along the way. But now we are starting off our Dynasty with Temple. We'll stay with them for as long as I can until I can win enough, accomplish the things that I want to accomplish, and then we'll go from there. But this is our first game of the Dynasty, and we're going to take on South Florida. They got a little bit more talent than we do. Now, these are brand-new rosters. These are the 22 rosters, and the coaches have changed as well. I had to go back and look and see what they ran. Apparently, they're a sprint offense, and they run a 3-3-5, but that's about all I know so far. Now, since we covered a lot of other things in the preseason video, one thing I can just briefly go over is, you know, the four or five guys we're going after in NC's recruiting. Jameer Logan, a wide receiver. Then we got a center, Aaron Tucker. We got a middle linebacker, Mitch Kelly. Left guard, Dante Bell. Then we have Caleb Turnage. I'm really excited about him. I think he could be good for us in the backfield. So we're going to monitor the recruiting throughout the season, and we'll see how that goes. There's nothing left for me to show you. I can go to the team info pages, but there's nothing going to be shown there because there's no stats or anything. So I think we are ready to go ahead and head into the game. I will go ahead, and it looks like we got somebody in trouble out of the gate. Let's see who is in trouble. It's like we got an outside linebacker, DJ Woodbury. Let's see what he did. Uh, his tutor said that he missed their last two meetings. Okay, let's do one game. How about that? I think we're okay at outside linebacker. I think we got depth there. I don't know if it's quality depth, but we got body. So I think we're going to be okay without him for at least one game. So let's just do a game for now. We can look at our uniforms. We'll go with the Stormtrooper look. I'm okay with that. Do we got any alternates? We got a red bottom. So okay, so that's good away options. But we'll go with the all white. Let's see what South Florida has. This is their traditionals. Those look pretty good. I bet they got a green bottom with those. Nope, they got the white bottoms. All right, pretty cool. I think we'll just stick with those. Those are more colorful. And let's head into the game. Now, I am going to be on 15-minute quarters due to the accelerated clock feature that is in the next mod. I'm going to monitor that. I want to try to keep my games respectable in terms of the time and still have normal stats of what I had before the mod so we'll see how all that goes it may take me a few games before i figure that out so this video may be very long <laughs> all right we don't have a televised game so we can go straight to the coin toss we won the toss and ah, let's just get the ball first how about that i want to check a couple things before we kick off let's go over to our roster and the one thing i didn't show you in the preseason video was the depth chart so i'm going to go through that now quarterback we have four dudes there's only showing three there there's the fourth one we got four quarterbacks that are all the same basically we got a couple that can run a little bit better than the other like there's dewan mathis i from what i remember he used to play at georgia and transferred over and this is kurt warner's son i just learned that through the comments in the last video i'm going to start mariano valenti not because of the name but the name is awesome but the reason i'm picking him is if you go over to their arms I think he's got the best combination of throw power and throw accuracy. And I am the awareness. I am the quarterback. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Now, he can't run to save his life. But I don't think we're going to need our quarterback to run a ton. Um, if we have a good quarterback that can do that, that's awesome. But that's not a, a super important thing in the offense, at least not right now. I need somebody who can get the ball down the field a little bit. And Mathis has got the highest of the bunch at the 84. But Val Valenti is at 82. That's about the same thing. The biggest thing is his accuracy. I think just a combination of the accuracy and the power. So I'm going to give him the nod. And if he just plays terrible, we'll just go to somebody else like Mathis or EJ. And we'll just, you know, go on from there. So he's our starter. Halfback, this is pretty simple. Uh, Edward Sadie is going to be our guy. He's just a little bit better than the rest of them. Not in terms of speed. i got to remember that. So he's not going to be able to outrun a whole lot. 86 is kind of slow for a halfback, but he has, uh, what was it? His carry rating is what is setting him apart. Hopefully he doesn't turn the ball over as much. I'm afraid these other guys would turn the ball over quite a bit, and we don't want that. So Sadie's pretty much going to carry majority of the load there. We go over to fullback. We don't have to worry about that position. Wide receiver, the way I'm doing it, my preference is to have tall guys who can jump on the outside and fast, speedy guys, short one. I mean, they could be tall too. I really need some speed underneath. Now, everybody's going to go deep 
in this veer and shoot offense, but especially the outside guys. So Bourbon or Bourbon, Barbon and Stewart, from what I can tell, are my two best deep ball guys who can catch it and who can jump. Now our best athlete is Ian Stewart, 6'3, 210, and he's got an 87 jump. So he's definitely got to be on the outside. My inside guys is gonna be Anderson and Sanders for now. Is that Adonicus? That's an awesome name. Um they're going to be my slot receivers, but honestly, all th these guys are interchangeable, I think, with my wide receivers. So I'm not too worried about who's going to be where. But overall, that's my initial setup because we're going to be four wide sets quite a bit because our tight ends just aren't talented enough to get the ball. We're going to use them to block for us. Like our best tight end, I, I guess it's Jordan Smith, as you see here. Just 72 speed. He's only got 70 catch. So I'm not going to rely on my tight ends to do much of anything. Now, my tight ends are important in this offense. I just need the right tight end to make it work. So we're going to use these guys to block for us when the time arises. All right. Offensive line, pretty simple. Um, we got more. We got uh, Firmino. I had, a, you know, kind of a battle here between Firmino and Trask. But I'm going to go with this guy. He's a little bit heavier. And um, he's got a little bit better run block, if I'm not mistaken. Center, both of these guys have the same bad awareness. Uh, it's just kind of a pick your poison thing. I went ahead with this guy. I think he had a little bit better run block rating. Right guard, another situation. You know, both these guys are kind of the same thing. But I went with Corshi, Wisdom Corshi, just an incredible name. Uh, did he got right tackle? This was a pretty simple decision, Adam Klein. We're running a 4 3 defense now. Apparently, this team used to be a 3-4 because all of my defensive ends are really big and slow. Like, look at this guy. 6'2", 295, 68 speed, and his backup, 59 speed. And these are defensive tackles. Then you know, we got the other ends. We got 260, and we got another 290-pounder. I need speed here in the 4-3, and I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to the 4-3. I may sprinkle in some 3-4 just because we got the players that kind of do it. But I don't like the 3-4 in this game in terms of stomping the run consistently, so... That's why I'm going to do the 4-3 more. But I may do that for passing purposes. Now, defensive tackle, we got three guys. All look kind of the same. They're all about the same size. Uh, but I'm going to go with the two strongest dudes, Gill and Morris, to start off. Outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and right outside linebacker, all kind of the same thing. We got guys that look exactly the same. Thomas and McCargo. I'm going to go ahead and start Thomas. Uh, middle linebacker, this was a pretty simple one. Jordan uh, McGee. Just a little bit better than the rest of them. He's not as fast, but I think he's a little bit smarter and he could tackle better. Right outside linebacker. Good thing is Woodbury. Oh, man, he's a backup. I probably could have suspended him for a couple more games. That's not a big deal. We, our discipline bar is really low anyways, but we're going to have Jordan going to be our starter there. Corner. This was a kind of a tough one. My preference is to have really tall corners. So this kid right here, Elijah Clark, is exactly what I'm looking for. He's really tall. Uh, our number two guy is only 5'11". And the rest of these guys are either 5'11 or 6 feet, so they're all kind of the same. Now, McMurray is technically our second most talented dude, but he's super slow. 84 speed, that's too slow for me. I need somebody who's got a little, little bit of speed out there to fall around these receivers and such. So I'm going to go ahead and start Clark and Paul, and I'm going to put Ruiz in the nickel spot because we're going to blitz from that position from time to time. Free safety starting, uh, he's our best player, Alex Odom, and he's just 84 overall. Uh, just a sophomore. That is a plus. Strong safety. Another battle. I went with Jalen Ware because he's a little bit faster. Again, my strong safety and my free safety, they're about interchangeable in terms of their responsibilities, and I need speed at this position. Then you got kicker. Absolute terrible situation to be in. We're going to do a lot of high kicks, and we're probably not going to do any field goals at all. We'll just probably go for it on fourth down unless it's like a chip shot. We'll probably miss some extra points this year. Because our kicker is just so bad. Hopefully we can find somebody in the transfer portal or in uh, the offseason. Uh, punter, it's even worse. 48 overall. I mean, that's awful. So I, our special teams is going to get interesting, to say the least, this season. Kick return, I just went with pretty much the fastest dudes I could find that's on the offensive side of the ball. Just because they won't fumble as much. So we got three wide receivers. We got Cooper, Anderson, and Stewart. And that's what I'm going to stick with. Cooper's the fastest one of the bunch. So maybe we can use his speed somehow. Same on punt return. Uh, kickoff starter, that ain't going to make much of a difference. And that is pretty much it. Now let's go over to South Florida. Let's see what they got. Starting quarterback, Gary Bohannon, 82 speed. Now you got to remember, there are no impact players 
the first half of each of these seasons. I could be dead wrong. Somebody on the next team could tell me different. But I think you'll start seeing impact players like halfway through the season. But for now, we're not going to see any. But this guy's a dual threat quarterback. All of these guys are, so we got to be aware of that. Halfback, an 85 overall, pretty good. 89 speed. Backups, not so much. Wide receiver. Okay, now you notice this is, and I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, fullback, they don't have any. They got a bunch of wide receivers here. I don't remember what playbook we assigned to them. Hopefully one with not many fullbacks at all. Uh, then you got wide receiver, 84 overall, this Weaver kid. Then you got 78, 78. They look a whole lot like us offensively, except they got a little bit more speed at quarterback. Tied in a little bit better here, 76 and 74 of all. Both of them are fairly fast, uh, but they can't catch worth a lick, so that's good. Let's go over to the offensive line, 85, 85, 82, 76, and 80. Okay. Uh, let's go to defense. Now, I, I think they run the 3-3-5. According to the coach profile I had to look up earlier, you got 76 and 76 on the edge. This guy's a true freshman. He's humongous for defensive end. Then you got defensive tackle at 82, then a drop-off after him. Outside linebacker, 80. Middle linebacker, 82. Then the other outside linebacker at 84. He's a pretty good ball player. Biggest thing I really want to look at, and it looks like that's their strength as their linebacker so far, from what I can tell. It's their secondary. That's how we're going to pick apart with our shoot part of our offense. Let's look at their secondary. 84, 82, 82, not bad. They all got some speed to them. Uh, free safety starter, 84 overall with 92 speed, really good. Then we got 86 overall with 89 speed. So they got just a decent secondary for their conference. So there's really not a big weakness anywhere there. So we'll just run our offense and hopefully we can just execute. Then we can look at their kicker. They're awful. Punter, awful. But they're better than what we have. That's for sure. All right. I think we're ready to... Uh, let's go to formation subs. Just one thing I, I got to do. In terms of our halfbacks, our offense is going to go through spread, trips, and gun five wide. I may use something else, but for now, I don't need to do anything de-offensively. But uh, I do need to go to defense. I need to make sure my nickel is what it's supposed to be. I want to make sure my top... Outside linebacker. I guess we'll use Jordan for this one. I can't tell if he's the top one or Thomas is. And I think they're the same. They got the same overall and same speed. 74. Uh, we'll just leave him there. What I want to check is if I can get to it. We're blocking. This is what I want to see. I want to put our fastest dudes. We're going to put Stewart there. And we're going to put Clark on the other end. That way we got fast dudes on the outside. We may get lucky and be able to block a punt this season. All right, I think we're ready to play a game. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, you notice we got 15-minute quarters, but these should go by fairly quickly. Due to the accelerated clock, I got it at 17 seconds. Let's see if Cooper can start off with something. Not a whole lot. We're on the left hash. I am going to go... Let's do something really simple. Let's go with... I'm going to do Y corner. All right, they're going zone. I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive on some things, just depending on what this secondary does. All right, cover two. We're going over the top. This may be a pick. Oh, that was a good opportunity. So cover two zone, you never see me do this, but I'm going to start going with go routes. And that way we got a one-on-one -on -one situation. Look at that. That's a good opportunity. Somebody just needs to make a play, and the wide receiver couldn't. That's actually a really good play by the free safety. Not a bad play there for him. Uh, let's go ahead and do a halfback dive. Not really sure what to expect here on second and 10. Nowhere to go. So it's third and long. Not what you want to see. We're going to stay here. And I'm going to go... Uh, I, oh, yeah. I have this for this particular reason. We're going to go gun wide trips. This is for situation. Let's just go half back corner. We're going man. Probably go to somebody on the outside. Go and cover two. Problem is he didn't get over the line in time. You go back and look. I don't think he got it. See, that's a first down right there. Unfortunately, it gets it to what? Fourth and one. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we got a terrible punter, so I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Yeah, this could be really dumb. Let's go. P. Reed. We got, I mean, we can't punt. We don't have anybody. So I like the shift. I like everything. I think we're just going to hand the ball off. Gee whiz. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. No big deal. Let's just go. Let's just play some defense. That's not part of the offense. I'll just go ahead and tell you that now. Kind of like not my intent, but. I thought we had a good opportunity to run, but apparently not. That's a face mask. Wow, we are off to an amazing start. And that's a 15 yard or two. We're just going to give them a touchdown, aren't we? Oh my gosh! I mean, what? I mean, here's what was going to happen. I was going to give their uh, their offense a good field position, anyways, just because we have no punter. Ah, awful. All right, let's keep playing. I don't know what to expect. Uh, let's see. That's what I want to see right there. Add a boy, Al. Get in front of it, make a play. Get that defense rolling. All right, good deal. Great, I was able to get in front of it. Just a good read on my part. Got us out of a bad situation. Let's go trips, and I'm going to go screen for right now. We're going zone. Now, I'm going to add some no huddle and hurry up when I get used to the defense, or get used to the offense. I just know where to go. Good play by the defense. I just got to get used to some things first. I need to go P. Reed. Zone dime. Uh, I actually, we're kind of behind the, the chains here, aren't we? We're going over the top. Make a play. I'm going to let him do it. Great play. Touchdown. <laughs> There's your beer and shoot right there. Oh, it's just up to somebody to make a play on that one. There's nobody in the stands. I just now noticed that. Just a good play. I didn't, I let the CPU handle it. Sometimes the safeties are going to make a play. It's just a chance you take there, but that worked out really well for us. And just like that, we scored. On the next drive, I'm going to start off with the run. Hopefully we can get something going there. Then I can use a little, uh, no, a little hurry up. I have a couple ideas on the hurry up side of things that are related to the beer and shoot. I'm going to try it, but we got to get the run game going first in order for that to work. So we're going to high kick this thing because, again, we don't have a kicker or a punter. It's imperative we get a couple of guys in the offseason. This is the safest thing for us to do. We're going to get great field position, but, you know, what do you do? Uh, we're going to go nickel. I'm going to go... I'm going to go quarters. When you don't have any impact players out there, it's just really weird. It's like, how do you handle, you know, what do you pick? That's a good throw. Great play by that wide receiver. Great, great play. Get an easy first down. I am going to go too high man. Do something like, uh, we'll do an offshoot. We'll do a tackle. Wide open. Good play. That play looked familiar. And we got a player hurt. Defensive tackle. I'm pretty sure he's a defensive tackle. Hopefully it's not too serious. So they're off to the races. Let's go ahead and go quarters. We actually could play some dime. I think we got the bodies for it. I didn't think about that. I think we actually I can throw in some dime. He almost caught that. I tried to get in front of it as best I could. Uh, they're going three wide here. I'm going. I'm gonna go man. I'm gonna control a defensive end maybe. I'll control the backside if possible. Looks like I don't have to. Intercept that. Good defense by our best corner. Now it's third and long. Third and ten. We're going to go cloud. I'm going to try to go after him myself. Unfortunately, we don't have the defensive ends to get to him quickly. I may just do a coverage look. Oh, good throw. Oh, he almost caught that. Good job by our safety, though. So what's fourth and ten? Are they they're going to punt it? That's interesting. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do a middle fan. I actually don't know what to do here. On the 33, I'm assuming he's going to punt this thing out of bounds. Look where Cooper's standing. He is literally in the end zone. We're going to just fair kick. Yeah, everybody get out of the way on that one. All right, good deal. Middle of the field. I'm going to run the ball. 
this offense, when done correctly, is meant to run the ball actually a bit more than pass it if it goes correctly. That's a big if. But they're going 3 3 5. Just excellent defense. Like, we, our, our run game may be a real struggle today. We're not going to get rid of ignored or anything but it's gonna be a tough one let's go back if i can find it uh quick slam we'll go back to y corner we're going zone look they got like seven guys at the box cover three so we're gonna go underneath get a first down i'm gonna go ahead and hurry it up now i'm doing half field reads like i'm literally looks like they're going man on this one Cover one. I'll go back to him, to Anderson. We got out of bounds. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to keep using the same play until they stop it. Go back to here. Yeah, just get the first down. Now we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, we'll stay in this formation. I'm going to go P read. Now I'm going to do P read a little bit differently. I'm not going to throw the ball to the halfback in certain situations. Actually, not at all. Now, I like what we're seeing here, so I'm going to go ahead and run this thing. I saw the numbers. Now, from here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hurry it up. When we got a positive play, I just want to go ahead and run the ball, see if we can pick up something. Just anything. So I'm going to give him the ball like this. Great play. Say first down. We're going to do it again. Another aspect of the offense is we're going to do some screens. We'll implement those eventually. Wide receiver screens specifically. Did I get the first? I think I did. First of 10. All right. Uh, we're going to stay there. We're going to change it up a little. Let's go halfback screen. I prefer to do wide receiver screens. We got a couple in here I got to use. But I think they're going man. So we're going to just see what happens here. And we'll go over here. Nice. Get up field. Get up field. <laughs> I got bogged down there. Good play there. Uh, so what we can do is do that screen I mentioned. We're going to go slot screen. And I think what we could do for Sadie, let's give him a break. We're going to go back and forth between spread and trips. I got to do a little five wide. I forget. I got five wide. I am going to have Hubbard go in trips. We're going to have Hubbard there just to give him a bit of a break. Sadie, now they're going zone. We're going to just go to our screen. Get a block or two, somebody. Get about seven yards there. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and do a dive. I probably should have done this from trips to give Sadie a break. Ooh, that's a hard shift, so let's just go ahead and do... Just a good defensive play. Now, I am going to... Third and two. Uh, we need to think about... Let's go quick slants. This is a red zone situation here. I really don't trust our run game to get the yards, so we're going to do something like this instead. Wide open. First down. Touchdown. Touchdown! Six points! <laughs> All right, good play. There was a hole over the middle, so I went over to my slant. We'll let those guys celebrate, hopefully they don't get a flag put on them. Just a big hole above my center. Went to Stewart and got six points. So whenever I get 10 yards in, I, I know red zone is 20 yards in the end, but once I get the 10 yards in the end, I got to add a couple wrinkles. Just a little, you know, specialty stuff just for that particular situation. That's what those other formations in my playbook are for. I just got to think more about those. All right, now, again, I'm on 15-minute quarters with a 17-second accelerated clock. That may be way too much. <laughs> this video may be like an hour and a half long, and I didn't even do much pregame. So, again, I'll adjust accordingly. I may just have to lower my clock in general. And we'll find out in due time. All right, back to defense we go. I'm going to go back to quarters. I don't expect this quarterback to throw hard on me all day. I don't think he's got the talent for it. He can run. But we'll see if I can pick him off again. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Got to make that catch. Good play, though. Uh, I'm going to stay in quarters again. Looks like they're running the same things we are. That was a P.E. read. 
and they are throwing more than anything else. Gray throw over the middle. That should be a first down. Uh, maybe third and one. Nope, that's a first and ten. I am... I'm going to do a zone blitz. I want to see how he'll react. I want to control the deep of the tackle, though, this time. I'm going to do this. I'm going to occupy him. That should be out of bounds. That makes it, what, second and ten? We can go back to quarters. Looks like they're going to throw the ball a lot today. So I'm going to stay in zone. We'll do an over front. Another pass. Just overshot that one to the tight end, so it's third and ten. Would be excellent to get a stop here. We're going to go cloud. I am... Uh, we'll spread it out. I'm going to try to occupy this side. Great throw. Incredible throw. He just had all day to throw. I was afraid to blitz him or go after him hard with my defensive end. I figured he was just going to run away from it. Apparently that wasn't the case. Let's do another zone blitz. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to occupy this guy right here. Nope, my corner couldn't get over. Intercept that. Good defense by my corner again. Great play. Uh, let's go quarters from 4-3. Let me do something like this. I like they've done nothing but pass. I'm still waiting for them to run the ball. Good open field tackle by the linebacker. So it's third and eight, I think. Third and seven. That is a third and six. Now they're in no man's land. If they don't convert this, they'll probably go for it. I'd like to get like a sack. So I may just go after him. Ooh. Okay, they didn't pass. They, I thought they was going to run there. Intercept that. Ooh, I think he got a tip. By Paul. Nice. And the, again, they're going to go for it. I'll just... I'm going to run the same thing. You know, the quarterback actually hasn't ran yet. So maybe I should go after him. Ooh, overshot it. I thought I'd done a late hit. Great play overall. So where are we? Let's go. I'm going to go QB choice. Let's run the ball. Let's start going man. I'm going to hand this ball off. Valenti cannot run the ball. Let's just cut up field. Just be patient. Be patient. Go, Hubbard. Go. Great play. Look at this. I just, he didn't. Broke a tackle. Then just kind of waited for blocks. Don't use the speed button. Just do what you can there. Again, be patient with it. I'm not going to be patient here. We're going to go no huddle. And a flag. Offsides. <laughs> Somebody bumped into one of our players. <laughs> We're going to take it. Nice. Uh, let's go P. Reed. I hope they go man. We're going zone dime. Now, normally, I, I would probably pass it in this situation, go to my halfback, but oh no. We're going to hand the ball to him. Great play by the defensive end. My left tackle didn't hold him off. Second and five. Uh, let's go five wide. I got to go zig outs. We're going zone. We're going to read that left side. We're going cover three. Uh, I was too late on that. That was a good defense play. I need to read this. They went cover three. You saw that corner go back. That's what made me think I need to go over. They went cover two. Oh, I missed it. Had him beat. I just whiffed it big time. That makes it, what, third and five? And we're going to go... I will go P. Reed. Oh, man. I will probably pass it. I was fixing to get sacked. That defensive end came through, and I just got spooked. That makes it what? Uh, we're going to have to go for this, aren't we? Uh, fourth and five on the 40. Let's go wide receiver curls. They're going man. They're, looks like they're blitzing that right nickel. This will probably go to the halfback, but they're going cover zero. Go over the top, make a play. Ah, oh, he just whiffed. He just completely missed it. Receiver did not react to that well at all. Oh, that was a wasted opportunity. All right, no big deal. Let's just get back on defense and try to make a stop. 
Get out of bounds. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go quarters again. Uh, we'll do something like this. Go over here. They finally ran the ball. And we stopped them. Good deal. I tell you, that corner, Clark, he is having a great game so far. I'm going to go back to Cloud. I'm going to go after him as best I can. With my super slow defensive ends. Sack. Oh, not so slow, I guess. Good job, Satchel. Not to be mistaken about the lead guitarist of Steel Panther. Caduce, if you know who I'm talking about. We're going to get the ball back. So the quarter is about over with. I felt like we've had like <laughs> six drives already. Uh, somebody get a block on the left. Back up. Just don't fumble it. We need to do... Let's go with a screen. Go five wide. Let's go wide receiver screen. We're going man. I hope this works. I really do. But I kind of like the matchup on the back end. So I'm going to go over the top. And he's double teamed. Dang it. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Gosh, that was a wasted opportunity there. Let's do another screen. We'll go halfback screen. We're going man dime. I have... I'm going to do an audible. I like the numbers. I like the matchup. We're going to do something like this. Get a first down. We're going to hurry it up. And I'm just going to go ahead and run it. I have no idea if they're going man or zone or anything. I'm just going to try to take advantage of the situation. Oh, no. We went to the play before. Dang it. We're just going to run the ball. Nope, throw it away. That was all kinds of... I forgot. It goes back to your original play, not your audible. That was a wasted opportunity. That's okay. And second and ten. I need to go... Uh, what are some of my... Let me look here. Let's do a play action. Man nickel. Please go cover zero. I want to hit that wheel route. Go and cover two. Great catch by Barbin. I'm not going to audible on this one. I don't like her matchup, so let's just do a P read. Zone dime. I'm going to hand this off. Not bad. Pick up by four or five there. I'm just going to hurry it up. I'm going to run it again. Oh, and that's the end of the quarter. All right, end of the quarter. We're up two scores. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we can check out our stats for one quarter. So we have a total of 27 plays in one quarter. That's a little too much. They had 19, so I'm definitely going to have to lower the 15-minute mark down to like 12 or something. I can already tell this is already really too long. But that's okay. Let's go gun trips. We're going to do another screen. I'm going to go with this one. We're going zones. So we'll go to our halfback. I'm not... This really wasn't part of the offense. I kind of want to go to my receiver every time. Ooh, that would, could have been a terrible situation. So that makes it, what, third and six? Uh, I'm going to go half back corner again. They're going man. I'm going to have him come down. Good catch, Stewart. Good catch. Keep the drive alive. Now we're going to go back to trips. Where's it at? Uh, it's angle. Alright, they're going man. Got a nice little concept on the right. Let's just see what they go with here. Looks like they're going cover one. We're going to get a touchdown. He went for the dive. Went for the swat. Touchdown. Alright, so the passing game is going fairly well. I think the running game is going okay, too. I was hoping they'd go cover zero. I was going to try to go that slot receiver, but that's okay. Four, wow, this game's going to take forever. I'm already 34 minutes into the video, and we're barely scratching the second quarter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, that's how you got to get used to these uh, new features in the, in the mod. 
Again, I'll probably back it down like 12 minutes for the next one, and then we'll go from there. I want re realistic score stats. I mean, as long as we get, you know, if you're having a solid offensive game, you should be getting close to about 450 to 500 yards if you're really doing well. But I can tell today we may end up with like 800 yards or something. It's possible. <laughs> All right, back to defense we go. I'm going to go cover two. Hi. I'm going to go man. Uh... I want to... Oh, we're going to get it. He was feeling the heat. Something happened there. So Valentini has already had seven, 19 throws. Whew. Cover four. We'll go back to that. Do something like this. Wide open over there. Ah, completely whipped the tackle. That makes it third and manageable. Third and four or five. We'll just go back to Cloud. I may. Uh, yeah, we can go after him. I think he's due to run. Intercepted. Intercepted. Oh, my gosh. Their quarterback's terrible. He's not had, Well, he's had a couple of good throws, but he's off to a rough start. A lot of incompletions. And me doing all this hurry up, it's, I mean, we're going to have like 120 plays by the end of the game. Get out of, get up the field. Let's go back. I'm going to try. Let's go zig outs. We're going zone. We're going to pick apart this secondary. Let's see what they go with. Cover two. Let's see how he handles it. That may be interception. Good defense. See, that's what you can expect. It's going to be about 50-50 on those jump balls against cover two zone. It's up to that safety and that wide receiver. Who's going to make the play? Now, I can take him over. I actually find it more fun with those guys trying to do it themselves. And just see what happens. But it didn't work out. No big deal. I'm going to go. Let's do a P read. Zone dime. I actually, I may run this. Just be patient with it. Great little run. Oh, dang it. Holding. Oh, man. That was probably my left tackle, Rodriguez. I don't know which one you are. It's second and forever. Oh. That gets us back down on the third. Uh, we'll just... We'll stay in the same play. We're going to throw it. We obviously need the yards. We're just going to read that side and see what that corner does. He's going over the top. I'm going to go... Ah, oh, terrible throw. Terrible throw. Just a bad throw. It's third and forever. I am going to do a screen. I don't think we're going to get the, the first down, so let's just do something a little odd. And maybe they'll bite on it or something. Now, they're going man. I'm going to go to my wide receiver here. We're going to go over to Sanders. If I can get a block or two, get up the field. It was a decent try, but not enough. So we're going to go ahead and punt this. Uh, even with our terrible punter. I'm going to high kick this thing. I probably should have done the sky punt. I always forget that that's, oh, this is a terrible punt. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> I should have just went for it. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. All right. Let's do his own blitz. Oh, that was all kinds of bad. I'm going to control. I'm going to try to occupy this tackle. That was a weird play, and it's going to be a touchdown. Just like that. Wow. Just broke a tackle. That's all it took. And we got a player hurt in the process. Yay. Injured his knee. What happened to the other guy? They never mentioned him. Oh, my gosh. Well, at least I, I experimented with the 15-minute clock. But it's obvious. we got to go lower. I'm 40 minutes in. We're not even halfway through the second quarter. At least you get the experience of a full game in real life. <laughs> this could be longer than an actual game. All right, we got to get that touchdown back. Let's see if Anderson can do something here. Get a block right there. Get a little return. Anderson. We're going to go. Let's start off with a P read. ACL spring, just a quarter. That's actually a good thing. Uh, I can't tell who's on who. Cover one. 
going over the top, make a play. Ah, good job, Stewart. We're going to hurry it up. I think I'll just hand the ball off. I think that's going to be my simple hurry up rule just for now. And that guy's coming in the blitz, isn't he? Nope, he went inside. Nice. Get in there, Saney. Get in there. Great play. We're going to hurry it up. I'm just going to hand the ball right back to him. Then we'll adjust accordingly. Er, just, just, yeah, good defense. Now it's probably time to do something different. Second and goal. Uh, we can try. Second and, or second and goal. It's, yeah, it is second and goal. Second and seven. I'm going to bring my tight end in. We're going to go with a QB wrap. They're going 5-2. That's not what I wanted. I got to hand this ball off. Let me see if we can try to get up the field. Not a bad little play. I'm going to hurry it up. Uh, we probably, I don't like any of that. I think we may call a timeout. I don't like any of that. I think I'm going to call a timeout. It's, we're on the four. Uh, I do have this particular formation. Ace Big Twins. For goal line purposes, we'll see if we can make use of that. We're going to do a basic toss. I hope this will work with Sadie. Uh, we'll probably go to the left. Ah, just didn't get in. I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, we will go... Uh, I don't have... I should have brought in another gun formation. Oh, there's gun split. Ah, let me just... Let's keep it simple. We'll do our, under, our goal line formation with this. Hopefully we can get a touchdown. There we go. Just get in and get your points. So we got the touchdown back. So our offense, the Veer Shoot, if anybody's never watched it, a lot of people think it's just a lot of jump balls, deep ball stuff on the outside. Half the offense, we're running the ball up the middle. It's just up the middle, up the middle, around the tackles, just wherever they can give it. And just, you know, you're attacking between the hash marks with your run game. You're attacking outside the hash marks with the passing game. And over time, we'll probably end up running the ball more than throwing it. I hope that's the case. That means I've probably done my job correctly. Unless the run game is so putrid. But right now, I think it's going okay. Good hit. So we got that touchdown back. We're back up to three scores. And this is what this offense does. It belittles the other team. I mean, it can really uh, just put you know put your hopes out. Interception. That's what you get for throwing in my direction. I love playing outside linebacker. It's my strength. So that is a good play. I want to. I'd love to do play action. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have in this formation. Um. We don't, we're running out of room. Uh, let's do P flood. I'm going to try. We're going man. We'll set this either go to Anderson or Stewart. Good defense. He was right in the middle of it. Let's go with. I'm going to do QB choice. We're going to run the ball. Man, dime. I like it. Just don't shift hard to the right. Going to the outside on this one. This was a simple one. I'm going to hurry it up. We're going to run it again. They may go goal line on this. So this may be a complete bust. We'll see. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh. I'm going to try it one more time. I hope he's not gassed. He probably is. I bet our offensive line is about to pass out. They're not used to this. See, now it looks like they're going goal line here. But we're going to get in for six points. There you go. There's your veer and shoot. Go fast as possible and attack certain points of the field with the same handful of concepts over and over again. So we're going to break the record today, more than likely. Most points in a game. <laughs> again, I'm sorry about the clock length, or the quarter length. I did not. I didn't know what to expect. This may be a miss. Nope. You don't have to go fast all the time. Oh my gosh. I'm going to run clock in the second half, though. I know that may really bore some people, but I, I think you understand why I'm doing it, at least for this game. Just because 
this video is gonna go super long good hit everybody's playing well at the moment biggest thing is we're not turning the ball over they are they got two turnovers and we're taking advantage of them i'm gonna do a zone blitz i'm gonna occupy this defensive end i'm gonna see my outside linebacker and can get to him and he did good job there's the mullet i'm gonna try to become the greatest coach ever gonna break all the records all that good stuff they're going four wide we're gonna go quarters I'm going to do something like, uh, yeah, I'll control this guy. Somebody came through. I didn't notice. I was paying too much attention to the left side. I didn't do anything special. Just somebody came through and made a play. Let's go cloud. Well, we'll do something like this. I could probably pad some stats just today just because of the time thing. Just nowhere to go. Just good defense across the board. I promise you, not every game is going to be like this. It really isn't. <sighs> We're going to go against some really good teams. We got two. Our next game is against who? A top 10 team? That probably won't be a good one. Or it'll be a tough one. Hopefully I can beat them. That'd be nice. All right, left side. We haven't done much on the left side in a while. Let's go with gun spread. I want to go... Slot wheels. I wanted to make that part of the offense, but we just not yet. Deep attack. I probably need to turn that more into my third and long. But I think that wide corner or the halfback corner plays going really well. All right, they're going zone. We're going to take the left side here. Cover two. Go over the top. Oh, that may be picked. I think it threw too hard. Yep. See, that's the other part to it. That's the chance we're taking. It's plays like this. Cover two, it's just up to somebody to make a play. That's free safety is pretty decent. I thought it was a decent throw, but somebody had to make a play. It was a 50-50 ball right there. So that's what makes this offense a pretty unique in terms of just a little bit of a high risk. Now, in real life, a lot of these guys are wide open, but we have to, you know, work around what this game could do for us. But either way, I thought it was worth a chance. It's a punt. All right, no big deal. We're up big, so I'm okay with it. I'm going to go back to a zone blitz. Do something like this. Good play. First down. Somebody make a tackle. They've hit their spots in the passing game. I'm going to do another zone blitz. Let's do that other one. Where's it at? Lightning 2. My linebacker is going to come on the inside. Somebody make a stop. Oh, great catch. Great, great catch. So they're on the move a little bit. They're starting to do something. Uh, I'm going to go back off a little bit. Let's go quarters. And we'll do something like this. I got several dudes on my side. I got to be careful. I couldn't get over there in time. I think he got the, I think he got in. Yep, second and six. We'll go back to quarters. Now, one thing I can do, and somebody may make, mention this in the comments, I can try this. Uh, th this may be a good day to experiment on it. Great play by the free safety. He is against that cover two zone, throw it much harder instead of doing a jump ball. So we can try that. I may go back. Uh, let's go gun five wide. Let's do zig outs. And they're going man, so this is kind of a mute point. Uh, we'll probably go to the right hash. Cover two. We'll go there, just a really good hit. Uh, I'm going to go here. Uh, we're going to go QB choice. I'm going to run the ball. Zone dime, I kind of like that. Just don't shift hard to the right. Get up field, get up field. Good little play. Now, I would hurry it up here, but I don't think we can get the three yards by doing that alone. So let's just go P. Reed. They're going man. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I'm going to do something like that. Ah, oh, he dropped it. Ah, he just straight up dropped it. Okay. Uh, we're going to go fourth and three. We're going to go for this. I'm going to, um, let me think. Uh, let's go halfback out. Good deal. 
I want to go to wide receiver. We're going to go to Barbin on this one. Hopefully he can make the catch. Great catch. Get the first down. Let's keep the drive alive. Let's go back here. Do a P read. Zone. Nickel. I, I know the box isn't all that good, but I think I'm going to go ahead and run it anyways. Let's just run to the outside. A fumble. Uh, okay, this gives me an excuse to switch plays. We can stay here. We can go back. Uh, no, I want to do a screen. I'm going to go five wide. Let's go to this screen. We're going zone. Actually, use a little motion on this one. Nah, I'm not going to. We'll just stick with this. Face mask. Oh, they didn't call it. Ah, man. That stinks. No big deal. Third and three. We're in good position. Let's go P read from spread. Blitzing that right nickel. Don't shift hard to the left. I want to run the ball. Ooh, they're bringing everybody. Ooh, I just want to pick up the first down, so let's just run it. Let's just do this. No big deal. Got a first down there. He's already got 100 yards on the day. We're going to hurry it up. I'm just going to hand the ball right back off to him. Face mask. Ah, oh, they didn't call it. Call the face mask. I'm going to keep doing it until they stop it. I'll eventually go up the middle once they show me that look. Uh, I may have to cut up the gut here. Yeah, we'll just cut up the gut like that get a first down. He's probably gas. I'm going to give him a break. Uh, and he is. So we're going to go trips. I'm going to go screen. We're going to slot screen. We're going man. I got a simple man beater. We're going to go to Stewart on the right. And over here. Great play. Did not get the touchdown, though. So it's second and one goal. Uh, I'm going to call screen again. Exact same one. But we're going to go to Sanders. And we're going to get a touchdown. 41 to 7. We're going to make it 42. The Bears shoot is alive and well. I'm actually enjoying this more than the spread option offense, whatever. I don't know what, don't know what you want to call what we've done with Buffalo. I like it when my running back it just has to run the ball. He doesn't have to do everything. I like... I feel like my offense has some purpose, has some direction to it, and I'm not just grab-bagging things. I'm really picking plays on purpose. They have their own I, I, purpose, I guess. Just be able to use the same handful of things over and over again. The half is almost over. So again, we're going to probably put in some subs and such. I think I'll do a mass sub thing in the second half. We got a lot of games left to play. I don't need anybody else getting hurt. That was actually a decent kick by my kick, my kicker. Interesting. I forgot. I completely forgot to do the high kick thing in a lot of these. I guess it doesn't matter. We're playing pretty well. Uh, I want to occupy this guy if I can get to it. I want to see if that linebacker can get through. Nope. Good pick up on the blitz. Pick up seven or eight. And they're calling a timeout. Uh, we probably need to keep it. I think they're going to throw the rest of the way. Obviously, it's, you know, two-minute drill at this point. Let's see what they go with. A pass. Good throw over the middle. We're going to get a first down. I'm curious to see what they're going to do here. They're going to, nope, they're not going to, I thought they was going to hurry it up. They're not going to. Uh, we'll do something like this. Urgh. Ah, he threw that ball a little early. Second and ten. I'll just stay in quarters. Just keep everything in front of us. Do something like this. Ooh, he's wide open. Ooh, that was close. Good job by my linebacker, number five. So it's third and ten. Uh, I guess we'll go back to Cloud. They're one for six on third down. I would love to have their quarterback. I could do some damage with him. Now, my offense, if you got a quarterback that can run, that's a part of it, but we just don't have it. Not technically. That's a great play. Great play. Nobody was over there. I don't know if my corner got lazy or tired or whoever's supposed to defend the flat just went with somebody else. 
They may score here before half. We'll do something like this. Ooh, I thought that was going to get picked off. Went with a little hitch. Second and five. Let's see how they handle this. Oh, they're, okay, here's where they're going to get goofy here on their plays. Going to play action. Ooh, he stopped on the route. <laughs> that helped. All right, third and five. Ooh, I guess we'll go cloud. I'll go after him. I've noticed he hasn't really ran the ball much at all today or away from the pressure. Screen. Get a stop. Great play. I'm going to call a timeout. That gives us one timeout left with 23 seconds. Can we get down the field now? Our offense, I don't care if there's 10 seconds left on the clock. We're trying to score points whenever we can. Like, Josh Heupel is excellent in the time management side of things. Like, they just know how to squeeze as much as they can out of a clock. So, middle of the field. First and 10. What's the best way to handle this? Let's go five wide. Uh, I'm going to go Y stick. We're going zone. Uh, I'm going to go... Go to Stewart. Let's see how he handles it. Ah! <laughs> Woo! I'm going to spike the ball. We may lose a second. Again, it's a jump ball. It's going to be a 50-50 situation. Four, three... Ah, dang it. All right, so it's two seconds. Oh, offside, so the clock should stop here. Should be first and five on the 15. What I need to look at this clock. Okay, just making sure. I didn't know what was going to happen there, honestly. I am going to go wing. I'm going to go scissors in. I don't trust my kicker, so we're going to try to get a touchdown. Uh, this will go to Anderson or Stewart. Cover one. Oh, sack. Somebody must have came through blitz really well. Yeah, they blitz. Well, I didn't see it till like right here. Had no chance on that one. So that was a wasted opportunity, but that's okay because we are up 42 to 7. The first half is finally over and we're only an hour into the video. <laughs> okay. So we have, uh, you're supposed to have, even in the modern game, you'd love to have around 100 plays in real football if you're really fast. Now, we already got almost 60. That's too much. They have almost 40 and they're not even taking they're taking their time with it so it's obvious this 15 minute quarters is for the birds it's not for me it, it's not realistic and it's just taking too long on the video side having said all that let's look at our stats we got 431 yards in the first half 301 yards passing 130 yards rushing but look how balanced we've been it's been pretty close well, let's keep on going our third down could be better we're doing a good job on the turnover front what was our one turnover oh yeah that was an interception on the deep end on the left side Individual stats, uh, Temple, let's see, Valenti. I think Valenti's playing just fine. Four touchdowns and one pick. Running the ball, Sadie's doing his job. I probably need to get Hubbard going a little bit more. But I think Sadie's doing a really good job. Uh, again, this is a good running offense if the opportunities are there. Stewart is having a really good game on the outside. Sanders, Cedar slot receiver. Or do I got him on the outside? I can't remember. It's going to take me a while to get used to my players. No, Barbin's on the outside. Sanders is probably a slot guy, so he's... Got five receptions. Oh, he's probably getting those off those screens and such. Defensively, uh, Duravel. He's got four tackles. Tackles for loss, we got a handful. We got three sacks and three interceptions. We got to remember, these all these stats are kind of skewed because of the clock. So we got another half to go, but I'll get through as best as I can. I am going to let my first string go for one drive on offense and defense. Then we'll put the second string in and go from there. Oh, I, I, forgive me for bringing it up all the time. I just find it hilarious. This clock thing is just... I just didn't judge it well the first time, but that's part of the of the testing at all. All right, I'm going to occupy this tackle. Oh, that should have been picked. Good defense, though. I tell you, my corners are playing really good today. Let's go quarters. Another thing that's not helping is South Florida is throwing the ball the entire time and they're not getting a lot of completions. Good play right up the middle. Oh, man. Big play right there. Picked up 40 yards. 
Latrell Williams. 32 yards. When the quarterback has time, he can make a throw or two, I guess. A lot of their plays seem to be a short stuff and then getting a lot of yards after the catch. We should pick that off. Good defense, everybody. Three on one, we'll take that any day of the week. I'm going to go quarters. We'll do an over front. He threw that after his cut, from what I could tell. That makes a third and ten. We got to get a stop here. Again, I'm going to try to run clock as best as I can. Just a ton of clock stoppage. Oh, he's got all day to throw. He's going to make a uh, somebody make a play on the back end. Great defense. Great defense. Our secondary is playing really well today. Now, they're going to punt it. I'm going to go with the all out block. We may have a chance to block it if somebody can get through quick enough. Somebody get through. Nope, not quick enough. Let's fair catch it. I am going, like, I would love to do halfback dive, but watch them go 3 3 5. Nope, they're going nickel. We may have a chance. I'm going to see if I can try to get up the gut here. It's all a hole there. Oh, look at that little play by Sadie. How about that little play? Up the gut. Beard shoot. Run it up the gut. Oh, I'm doing hurry up. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Again, I'm trying to run clock. Completely forgot. Gone the habit of going quickly. So, uh, I'm going to try to kill some time by talking between all of this. At least the accelerated clock even works on the hurry up. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do something like that. Wow, great blocking. Look at this. Our center and our guard gave us a great hole in that A-gap. Right there. Great play. I don't know what would be a good... I haven't picked my thumbnail yet, but I think this is a really good one right there. Maybe something like that to not embarrass the USF crowd by not bringing anybody in to watch the game. Second and two. I want to go... Well, let me look and see what I have. Slot out, slot fade. I'm going to flip slot fade. Or going man. This will either go to Sanders or Barbin. More than likely, it'll go to Barbin. They never call cover zero when you go five wide. I've just learned that over the years. I'll be shocked if they did, and they didn't. Oh, my bad. I threw that way too. That was all kinds of awful. I threw that off my back foot. He caught that? Oh, my gosh. What a killer catch by Barbin. Oh, did he bring that down? Oh, my gosh. They gave it to us. <laughs> we'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> Let's stay in five wide. Let me look here. Or slot fade. Why stick is part of the offense. Smash, no. Comebacks. I got to remember that comeback play. Well, let's do zig outs. We're going man. We'll go to the strong side of the field. We got more grass to work with. Looks like they're going at least cover one. The clock is running. We'll let it do so. Very good chance we'll end up going to Sanders on this one. Yep, cover one. I will go to the GOAT routes against cover one. It just depends on that safety. So, like, for example, let's call, uh, let's just call the same play. I hope I want them to go man. Nope, they're going zone. All right, never mind. Next time they go man on that play, I'll show you. But they're going zone here. Uh, I'm just going to read that right corner. Again, I'm not even paying attention to the left side. I'm focusing on the right side and seeing what that corner does. Looks like it's going to be a cover two. I'm going to put this hard. Let's see what happens. We're going to get a touchdown. So that's an opportunity. So it just kind of depends. Looks like we broke a receiving record for Stewart on the first game. Again, that record don't mean a whole lot because we got inflated clock. But here's what I was talking about earlier. Now, the last handful of times we've seen this, I've been just tapping the button and having a true jump ball situation here. I threw the ball as hard as I could. You just don't know what's going to happen. Now, this safety, uh, he just had a brain fart. He decided to stop. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We just got lucky on this play. Either way, we're going to get a first down. I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor on him. Let me go. This may be a good thumbnail right there, possibly. I like that. 
so our first string is done for the day. They have nothing left to prove. Let's go mass subs. I think I got the bodies for it. I, I, I think I got like 70 players on the roster or 69 maybe. So we're going to sub everybody out. Now we got Mathis. He is our backup. He can run a little bit. So we can throw in a little QB choice if need be. And let him use the choice part of it. I'm going to kick it like normal. I've noticed my kicker's been doing a halfway decent job with this. He threw it. He kicked it kind of far the last time. Let's see how far he kicks it here. So what am I missing? That's not a bad kick. Huh. I'm glad I noticed that. That's so weird. No big deal. Uh, do we got the bodies to go nickel? I don't even know if we do. Yeah, our nickel's not too terrible. That's good to know. Ooh, good play. Let's run some man. Let's do a bunch of man stuff for now. Let's go 4-3, cover 2 man. I'm going to control the free safety. That's on my mind, so let's do it. Opposing team should be able to run or throw the ball a little bit better against man. Got a few yards there. It's third and seven. Go nickel too high here. I'll do something like this. I'm going to just control him myself. Nope. All right. They're going to go the short route. They can have it. Punt the ball. Uh, we're going to do a double cross. Good to see that clock go down farther and farther. And let's just fair catch it for now. Now's a good time for me to practice on some plays. I'm trying to think of what I haven't called. Uh, there's not a whole lot of plays in this offense. It's not until I get some of these other formations that are will be. Uh, let's go gun trips. Let's go... No, not, uh, let's go angle again. I eventually want to get the slot fade to work, but they're going zone here. I will probably just go to Evans on this one. Does that look familiar? Just a lot of quick passes to your receivers or you're chucking it deep to them, one or the other. Now let's go here and do... Let's do a speed option. I haven't called this play in forever. Josh Hypo likes to run speed option every now and then. So we're going to do a little bit of that as well. I'm really basing a lot of this off Josh Heupel's version of it. Our Browse is super similar. Uh, actually, Heupel does more... Uh, what should I call? A little more motion. I haven't done any motion today. I haven't really needed to. It's third and ten. Do I got to get a third and ten play here? Let's do. Yeah, let's just stick with angle. And we're going zone. I'm going to see if I can hit. This may be tough. I'm going to see if I can hit Anderson. Do I got the bodies? Ew, I don't even know who that number seven is, but he's not very good. Uh, let's just go ahead and snap it. Ew, wow, somebody just came right on through. High snap messed up everything. I had no chance there. High snap just ruined everything, and somebody came through on a whip or a little... I don't know what they, you'd call that. I forgot the term for it. Just a bad play. All right, let's punt it. I'll go ahead and punt it like normal. That was a bad drive for Mathis, but that wasn't really his fault. Do something like this. Not a bad punt. So why is my punter like a 48 overall when he can do that? Am I missing something? Let me go back and look at my punter. See, he's like a 44 overall. He's technically 48. If you go with his kick power, 78. His kick accuracy is 70. So it's, it's not terrible. That's interesting. Okay. It's something for me to think about. At least I don't have to high kick it all, all year. Let's go back to quarters. I'd like to see my second string get a touchdown before the game ends. Good defense there, McCargo. Uh, let's, let's do a zone blitz. That's a humongous defensive end. I mean, he is just gargantuous. Number 17. Good number for a defensive end. Nowhere to go. Third and long. 
I already forgot who we're playing next. I know it's against a really good team. Oh, yeah. Picked the wrong play. Dang it, Let's go, Cloud. I forgot who I picked. I know we got... Ah, I can't believe I forgot this already. It'll come to me. We'll look at it at the end of the video. Oh, it's Notre Dame, I think. I think Notre Dame is it. Oh, great throw. Had all day to throw. I couldn't get to him in time. Go back to quarters. Wow, this clock is like I'm a minute 10 or an hour 10 in this video. It's going to be a solid hour and a half. I'm trying to get this thing on. The problem is there's too many incompletions. Way too many. Especially by South Florida. Just stalling this entire game. But our stats may be halfway decent. I, I'll, I'll put that in the comments section. Biggest thing, I don't want these videos. These videos are long enough. I don't want these things to be like an hour and a half. They should never be that long. I'm okay with it being about an hour. No different than watching a an hour, you know, episode of something. So I got to lower it. I have to. And besides, how many yards did we get in that first half? 430. That's a good broken tackle. First down there. What was that halfback direct? Clock slowly going down. We'll do some QB choice stuff with Mathis here in a little bit. Ooh, great play, but oh, no. They got us at the one. Oh, that's terrible. So we're on the right hash. We got to be really careful here. Uh, what's the best thing for us to do? I'm going to go halfback out. They're going man. Thank the Lord. I think I can get out of the jam here. But it's going to take him a while. Uh, let me go. Uh, just run. I'm just going to run with him. Let's get the yards. Oh, gosh. I almost got sacked. Oh, and Mathis injured his elbow. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's having a rough go of it. Former Georgia transfer. Now we got somebody else in there. It's second and three. Let me go P. Reed. At least we're not at our goal line. They're going zone nickel. The clock has stopped, too. I'm going to go ahead and hand it off. Let's get a first down. Ooh, did we get it? I think we got it. Got it. Good deal. Go back. Uh, I'm going to go trio offset. PA dagger is going to be a play in our playbook, but oh, Mathis is out nine weeks. That's terrible. I hate that for him. I was actually looking forward to using him some. Oh, well, so it looks like EJ Warner is now our new backup quarterback. All righty. So what are they? They're going man here. The clock is running. We're going to go either. Well, we got a bunch of options here, honestly. But I'm going to go to either Cooper or Anderson. Just keep it simple. Half field read. I threw it off the back foot. That was all kinds of bad. I thought I was fixing to get sacked. That makes it what? Second and ten? Let's go back. Uh, Let's do a... Let's go back to Y corner. Just our basic, old, our main drop back concept is this Ohio look. We're going zone. Almost got sacked. Somebody came through. They blitzed. Great blitz. But we got the ball off the time. And look what his number is. It's 13. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go back here. Let's go back to angle. Going zone. I hope we can get this first down. I may go to Hubbard over the middle. There's a hole. I really want to pick up the first down so we can run more clock. Get down. We'll just do something like this. Ah. Just a drop. I think he got hit when he caught it. Or attempted to catch it. But he was wide open. Look at it. Just, ah. Uh, what we're going to do... I'm going to I'm going to call a play, and that's what I was afraid of. They was going to call something goofy like that. So what we're going to do is just call a timeout, and we'll just punt it. Dang it. No big deal. Let's just do a spread punt. I could have swore we got a first down on that one back there, but 
Oh, I guess we did. Yeah, it's third and three or fourth and three. My bad. I'm a full three plays behind. I'm going to stay back. This ain't good. Get a stop. Ah, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Coming back, though. Whew. We'll definitely accept that. That gets them all the way back there. Of course. Wow, this game's going to take forever. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I, I mean, I, I tested it a little bit. In my live stream. And it came out to like 15 minutes for one quarter. I'm like, okay, that's not too bad. But it really slows down an entire game when you got a bunch of drops and or just incompletions and such. Oh my gosh, a full quarter. Now they just... I'm glad they're running it. At least they're going to run some clock. Somebody get a block or stop. Keep running the ball. I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's go cover two, man. No control. A free safety. Good defense. Our corners. And they're having a good day. To doing that. Uh, let's just do cover two man from 4-3. Looks like we're better at nickel than we are at 4-3 in our with our backups. He beat them on that play, on that route. That makes it, what, third and five? Let's see if I can go after him with a defensive end. Well, we'll do something like this. Intercept that. Intercept it! So are they going to go for it? They're going to go for it. Uh, we'll go clown, I guess. It's fourth and five. They could call anything. I fully expect them to pass it, though. They still got their... Bless their hearts. They still got their first string out there. Sack! I got to him. I didn't even need a whole lot of speed to do it. Okay. Let's run the ball. Uh, Warner, he can't run the ball, correct? 72 on the speed. Let's do off tackle. We haven't called that today. This will be good against those dime looks, but here they're going 3-3-5. Three, three, this may not work at all. Yeah, just bad all around. I probably should have stayed to the outside. Second and a... Uh, this is the end. I wonder what happens. 13. Good. It didn't go all the way down to zero seconds. I was kind of expecting it to. I'm going to let the clock roll. All right, end of the third quarter. Thank the Lord. We got one left. Almost there. 49 to 7. Not much in that third quarter. There won't be much going on in this next quarter. Uh, let's do let's do another screen. This type of screen, I've called it a couple times today. It doesn't really fit what we're doing. I don't have a whole lot of wide receiver screens to work with, and I kind of wanted them to go man, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the wide receiver anyways. And we'll get a few yards. It's not terrible. Not bad. We picked up four or five. Third and six. I need to. Let's go five wide. Ah, we'll go zig outs. All right, they're going man. I'm gonna. I wonder what that safety is going to do right there. I don't know what's going to happen here. Honestly, I can't really tell. I like to run away from or throw away from that guy. So if he goes over here, we're gonna to go to the opposite side. He's going that way. So ah, terrible throw. Out of bounds. It was a good read. It was correct. It's fourth and six. Ah, uh, and we'll go half back out. And they're going zone. Again, I really don't like to go to my halfbacks in this offense unless I mean I can. I mean it's not like it's not part of the offense, but good catch by Hubbard. Get the drive going. We'll take it. And that's a good third five situation. We can stay here. Corners. Let's do corners. Going zone. I'm going to read. Uh, I can probably go over the middle too. I'd love to go to Anderson on the sweat on the wheel route. It may take a little while to get there. If they go cover two, I want to go to him. 
All right, they're going with cover two. Can we get there in time? Oh, okay, good catch. The guy went for the SWAT instead. I threw it as hard as I could. Thankfully, that's safety. He was a little bit late on it. Uh, let's go back to five wide. I want to go back to screen. We're going zone. We will go to Murray. That's Mick Murray. Sorry. Let that clock roll a little bit. Get down to a couple of seconds. Good little play there. Get about four or five. Not bad. We can do another screen. But I actually want to run the ball. Let's go halfback dive. Ah, I want them to go dime or nickel. That three three five. Look, they got like eight guys in the box. This is probably not going to work out. This is when I could probably call something quicker like this. This is another part of the offense. Do a little. Oh, oh, he dropped it. I dropped it. He dropped it. So it's third and seven. I'm going to go P read. We're going zone dime. I actually may just run the ball and then we'll do something on fourth. We don't have a whole lot of room. Like we can try this. Let me see. Wide open. Boom. Touchdown. Good catch. Good play. Good job, Warner. Now you notice all of, we got like a lot of players wearing the black long sleeves. That's an NCAA 14 thing when they brought those guys over when they created them and such. Everybody got default black. I wish it was default white. It would look better. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. You can always go back and change them all out or just put it to never for the short sleeves or uh, only when it's cold or things like that. That may be something I'll do between videos. I'm going to go ahead and Let's see. I hope I've done that correctly. Okay, I'm going to save that. I've been told. And my stupid little cursor is messing up on me. There we go. I'm going to do some save state stuff. I've been told this is a great way to back up your saves just in case something bad happens. I'm going to do this immediately after the game ends. And I'll, I'll save my file like normal. But the save state should help as well. So thanks for the guys who've been giving me that tip. A little dive up the middle. I mentioned that the halfback doesn't catch the ball a whole lot in this offense. They can if they are dynamic enough. Tennessee, this gives me one thing I'm loving about this offense. It gives me a chance to actually talk about Tennessee a little bit. Good little play there by Magnum. Magnum, I guess that's how you say his name. I think they went direct on that one, didn't they? Yep, halfback direct. Um, Tennessee, we got a true freshman. He's our fifth best halfback in the, on the depth chart. He's our number five guy on the depth chart. I guess he may be number four. Either way, we are really excited about him. He's like 6'2", 220. Really big for his position. But he is very dynamic. Cam Seldon's his name. Really excited to have him in the fold. We got to throw him the ball a bit in our spring game. Oh, Tennessee had their orange and white game last weekend. It was pretty fun to watch. Option getting the right. The good play. Al denied that option. Third and twelve. So again, the top. So I'm gonna be in the bear shoot at least while I'm here at Temple. If I love the offense good enough. I'm going to keep the beard shoot. We're going to take it on to another school. That's a good thing about this uh, particular dynasty. Once I'm ready to move on to another school, I can keep my offense. I can go do something different. A lot of cool options. Let's go cover two man. At least we're keeping that clock going a little bit. I'm going to control the defensive tackle. Went with a toss play. Oh, I couldn't get there in time. And yeah, I got the first. That's Mangum is his name. So they finally got their second string in there. Surely they do. Do something like this. Good intercepted. Intercepted Rigby. Good job. 
Good tip. I thought he was going to drop it. He just didn't see the linebacker. They got terrible quarterback play, as you can tell. I want to do a halfback dive again. That's what I want to say. I want to say dime against my spread look. Let's see if we can get up the middle. Oop, no, good play by the guard. I thought I saw a hole in the B gap, and that didn't happen. We can try. Halfback screen. I'm glad they're going man. I didn't really want to go to my halfback anyways. So that's safety. Nope, he's coming down. So we're going to go to somebody on the right side. We're going to let this clock run. Get down to a few seconds. Cover one. Probably in our best interest just to go to the outside. Great throw. By the... Oh, just a great play. Fumble, it's a third and two. Great, play, great throw by Warner. But it's third and two. So let's go and do P. Reed. Zone dime. Should I run the ball or keep it? Ooh, I kind of like the shift. I think we made hand the ball off. I'm going to let this clock run. Thankfully, when you run out of bounds, either a passing play or a run a play, that clock is still going to run. So I'm going to let it do so. I'd love to run out the rest of this clock. It's probably not going to happen. Maybe it will. I can get close. Again, really excited about this offense. Things are, it's going to get a little tougher. Again, we got Notre Dame coming up. They're going to be really tough. I don't know what to expect with the rest of our conference. Just cut up field. Good play there. Middle of the field. I'm going to go back to our screen. I'm going to go man. Go man. Either oh, going zone. I'd love to go to my left screen against man. So EJ Warner, I think he's looking pretty good. He's now our no, new number two backup, apparently, because Mathis got hurt. Out for two months. Not much blocking there. That's that's a play I probably could have used a motion. Probably could have brought somebody over. Didn't think about that. Uh, let's go second and 11. Let me look and see what I have here. Deep attack. Uh, let's just stick with our bread and butter. Let's go wide receiver under. We're going to attack that right side. Let's just see what they do. I hope they go cover two. I want to go deep again. I want to go to Cooper. If not, we'll just go underneath the McMurray. Again, I'm just reading one half of the field. Keep it simple. Cover three. Go down here. Get a first down. I, I could hurry this up, but I'm not going to. We could just call the same thing. Let's do a PA flood. They're going man dime. I would probably like to do something like this. I don't know. I, I thought I, I may have missed. I think I got halfback dive here. Let me go check that. Audibles. I It's QB choice. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I think that's a smart decision. I'm going to hand this ball off. I like the matchup. Ah, I was hoping I'd juke both of them. Didn't work. Second and seven. Uh, we can go. We can go back to screen. Okay, good. We're going man. We can go to receiver. We'll go to somebody on the left side. Looks like that linebacker's on Anderson. I'd love to go over the top to Anderson, but I have a feeling one of those safeties are going to stay up top. If that's the case, we'll just go underneath. Cover one. We'll just go over here. Good throw to Evans. Pick up a first down. We're slowly but surely moving this clock. We'll go here. We'll do a P read. Zone nickel. I'll probably hand this off. We'll probably go up to gut with Hubbard. Keep that clock going. I may have a chance to run the rest of this clock out. That'd be pretty neat. Let's go up the field. Fumble. Ah, dang it. Great play, except for the fumble. I mean, great hole, but boom, fumble. I spoke too soon. All right, three minutes to go. We're about done. I'm, a, I'm an hour and a half into this video. Whew. We're going to do something like this. Good tackle by 31, whoever you are. 
as to as are they running the ball more? I kind of can't tell. I think ever since they put in their Sega string, they've gotten more conservative. I'm gonna control. I'm gonna occupy this tackle. Good throw over the side, but it's not a first down, so it's third and four. Uh. Do I have an audible for that? I don't, do I? We'll just stick with this. Oh, great play, Al. I guessed correctly. I went inside. Fourth and five. They're going to punt it. Good deal. I wonder if I can run out the rest of that clock taking knees. Uh, is that accelerated clock going to affect that? I know we got a larger play clock. It's 40 seconds now. I'm going to take a knee. So we got a minute 28. Let's just see what happens here. I don't know what to expect. Let's go here. QB Neal. Let's go ahead and take a knee. I normally do a hurry up right here, but in this case, I'm actually not going to. I'm just going to do, let it do that. Let's see what that clock does. It does. I think, what, if I'm not mistaken, once it gets under two minutes, everything acts normal, which is a good thing. I think that's I think that's the correct rule, anyways. All right, good deal. Well, hopefully you enjoy this. I know the second half was pretty boring. That's just me trying to get through it, just because of this very long video. That's an easy fix. We'll go down to twelve minutes or something. Get it down to a few more seconds. I'll be able to. Surely they won't call a timeout on me after a third down. Seven six. It's going to be super close. But I should be able to get underneath 40. Something like that. 40, 439, 38. There you go. All right, good deal. 56 to 7, an absolute blowout. South Florida, they threw the ball way too much and they weren't good enough to do so. I hope you enjoyed the offense. Defense, I'm just getting through it. I'm okay with whatever I do on defense. I just stick to the 4-3 because that's just what I like. And that gives me a chance to, sh to stop running, get teams a little bit better. But I'm here for the offense. Everybody knows that's what I like the most. That's why I'm just kind of getting through it, for getting ready for the next offensive drive. Try to score points there because it's always fun. 56-7, to seven, the game is finally over. I'm going to, we can look at stats. They're going to be kind of skewed. We'll get through this. I'm going to do a safe state bef right before I simulate. Looks like we're going to have a bunch of campus challenge points, as you can tell. I wonder if I can... Let's see. Let's, nope, it went ahead and done it. No big deal. All right, let's go look at the stats. So, again, this is all kind of skewed just because of the very long uh, game, but that's okay. Uh, I thought we'd done pretty well. Uh, just overall, I thought the offense looked pretty good. Uh, we need to clean up our third downs. We had, what, a fumble in the second half and an interception in the first... You go over here. Look, I mean, their starting quarterback had 51 attempts. That's a lot, man. Uh, 22 and 35, 362 yards, five touchdowns, one interception. Valenti, I think we've done a good job picking him to be our starting quarterback. Halfbacks, I thought we'd done fine. I thought Sadie had a really good game. Again, I just handed him the ball off. That's what our running backs are going to do. Unless we find a really dynamic guy we can give to. But we got plenty of weapons on the outside with our receivers. We really don't need our halfbacks to catch the ball much. Stewart ended up with 222 yards, but a lot of that was deep ball. Look at his average. What was it? Where's it at? Oh, yeah, there it is. 31 yards. Again, it's just deep balls to him and deep balls to Barbins. That's going to be the norm is seeing these two guys right here, our outside guys, get really deep chunk plays. Our slot receivers will get that eventually, but the offense or the defense has got to show me some things for that to happen, and that just didn't work out today, but that's okay. That'll come in time. Uh, quickly, uh, Durable, Durable, however you want to say his name, led in tackles. Had a couple guys leading tackles for loss. Satchel uh, had two sacks and interceptions. Uh, Jordan had two there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and click. We're going to save that slot there. And we're going to exit out. I've been told that sometimes this mod kind of freezes up on you when you simulate. But I think it's only when you sim multiple weeks at a time and such, and that's not going to happen with me. I don't sim our games or anything. I like to play them. So I save that state. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this week. I'm going to hurry it up. 
Hopefully nothing goofy happens here. I don't expect it to. And then we'll look at our top 25 scores and I'll finally let you go. It's because it's almost an hour and 40 minutes. All right, let's look at the top 25 for the week. Uh, Clemson, and he got Wisconsin, got upset by West Virginia. Georgia beat Maryland. Utah got upset by Florida. That's par for the course. That's what happened last year. They have Utah as the home game for that one, which is interesting. Then you have Arkansas, USC, Wake Forest got upset, Pitt won. Then you have Texas, Michigan, Miami, Oklahoma State won. Then you got Texas A&M, Oklahoma, Notre Dame got upset. That's who we're going to play next. Then we got Ohio State, we got Michigan State, Baylor won, Alabama beat Illinois. Then you have Cincinnati, LSU, Kentucky, and Oregon. And last but not least, Kansas State barely beating Houston. All right, in our next game, we have Notre Dame. Yes, they just got beaten their last game, but it's obvious they're much better than us. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens with that. Hopefully, our Baron shoot does really well. This is all kind of skewed over here. I know you can't. I forgot to put my cursor on there. There we go. It's kind of skewed with all these numbers because we had such a really long game. But either way, I think what we're doing correctly on offense, Alpha is looking good, and I'm excited about it. And I hope you are too. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.